Kevin Haig. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Health and asks, does he regard the input and engagement of clinicians and the public to be critical to the achievement of his targets for DHB performance? The Hon. Tony Wright. Mr Speaker, yes, clinical leadership and engagement are fundamental to improving patient outcomes and achieving the government's six national health targets. And for example, with our More Heart and Diabetes Checks target, the Ministry is supported by a clinical improvement group headed by Dr Paul Drury of Auckland and includes eminent people such as Professor Jim Mann of Dunedin, and we thank them for their contribution. Kevin Haig. Supplementary, Mr Speaker. What instructions or views has he expressed to anyone from the Southern DHB, the Ministry of Health or the National Health Board concerning the disciplinary action being taken against Dr John Chambers, an eminent emergency medicine specialist at Dunedin Hospital, for publicly expressing a dissenting professional view about how best to achieve his target for emergency department waiting times. The Honourable Tony Wright. Mr Speaker, I am aware of those matters. Uh, the Chairman of the Board, Mr Butterfield, has raised those with me and I've said to them, well, that's really a matter that they, as a Board, have to deal with. Kevin Haig. Supplementary, Mr Speaker. Why has he used his influence to pressure the Southern DHB to take disciplinary action against Dr Chambers through his direct interaction with National Health Board Chief Advisor Yvonne Brewerton. The Honourable Tony Ryle. I wonder if the member could request, uh, could repeat his question. The uh, please to repeat is Kevin Hayes. Certainly, Hague. Mr. Speaker. Why has he used his influence to pressure the Southern DHB to take disciplinary action against Dr. Chambers through his direct interaction with National Health Board Chief Advisor Yvonne Brewerton? The Honourable Tony uh, Ryle. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I don't know what the member is talking about. Uh, what I have to say is that I have had an opportunity to discuss that with the chairman, made it clear to him that's a responsibility for the board, but I have made it also clear to them that there are major issues in that emergency department that do need to be dealt with. Kevin Haig. Parliamentary, Mr Speaker. Is he prepared, in light of that answer, to say publicly now to the Southern DHB, the Ministry of Health and the National Health Board that any instruction concerning Dr Chambers that they have inferred from his comments should be disregarded. The Honourable Tony Wright. Uh, Mr Speaker, that's a, the, the whole, all employment matters are the responsibility of the District Health Board. I would certainly not want anyone to uh, ignore any views that I've given about the importance of improving uh, the emergency department performance in Dunedin. Uh, but uh, I don't think uh, the member is really on the right track if he's suggesting that I've told everyone on what they should be doing on their employment relations. Point of order, Mr. Mr. Kevin Speaker, Hague. The, the, the supplementary question gave the Minister the opportunity to let those entities know that they ought to disregard uh, any inferred instruction uh, if indeed they had perceived one. And the Minister has not really addressed that in his remarks. But he's, he's disputed that he uh, gave, made, made comments that could be inferred that way, and, uh, and uh, I can't ask him to answer it differently. That's the way he's answered the question, and, and I don't think I can ask him to answer it in a different <coughs> manner. Point of order, Mr Kevin Speaker, Hague. I seek leave to table uh, a portion of the Cabinet manual relating to Ministers... No, no, what are we doing? We don't uh, table... Uh, Bits of the Cabinet Manual. Question number 12, Tracy Martin. Uh, Mr Speaker, to the Ministry of...